Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to continue to play a game called Writer's Rush. Now if, you're, if you saw the other ones and you're thinking, why? You were so terrible the first time. Oh no, it was horrible. It was, it was actually really bad. Because it turns out uh, I was literally doing the entire thing backwards. Everything I was picking, I was picking the opposite of what I was supposed to be picking. I was saying it, but doing like the opposite. It's weird, the way the sliders work is was not in my mind intuitive so my fault but we're gonna go back and we're gonna try again for real we're gonna do it the way that i intend it and see if i actually still get really bad results it would be very interesting to see if i still get really terrible results so we're gonna just continue where we left off and boom 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 okay here we are Basically, we're like writing stories by picking the characters and the uh, plot and then people like vote on it and it's a whole thing. You'll see. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And uh, pause this real quick. Gosh. Okay. All right. We are going to make a story and we're going to do a sci-fi story. about the future now <laughs> that's just stupid a sci-fi story about the 1920s uh no fight against evil no uh post-apocalyptic sci-fi uh space sci-fi secret sci-fi secret services a rivalry of prison superpowers vampires a war, sci-fi war, UFO superpowers. Hang on. What if... Mm, no. Uh, oh, gosh. Ah, uh, a dystopian sci-fi. But I don't know if I want to do, like... Okay, yeah. A, a dystopian sci-fi so yes this will be more for like a young adults probably that'll go for all genders and we're gonna do our research and what will be the title of said dystopian sci-fi um how about this you know last time i always made the title before Maybe we'll make the title afterwards. Can I not confirm until I make a title, though? Haunting Sword. Sure, we're just going to, as like a, how about, you know what, better yet. Literally, we're going to call it Placeholder, because whenever it's done, that's when I'm going to actually come up with the title. Because I think it might make, it might be more fun to come up with the title afterwards, based on whatever the plot is that we get, get given. Alright, so here we go. Let's do it. And the person will be called, the main character will be called Lawson. Sure. Okay. Okay. Hang on here. Okay. Sci-fi dystopian. Uh, we need a little bit of dialogue, but we need mostly the settings because, of course, it's dystopian, world building, blah, 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 social context, yada, yada, yada. And then the plot, of course maybe less plot and more world building i mean it's got to be some like deep things going on here but there should still be some plot though okay so we got that right okay see this is where i screwed up last time what is the sci-fi dystopian see this i was sliding this direction which makes it actually less and i actually wanted it to be actiony so okay so we are going to go for like high dramatics high element of risk like you know, people jumping off of buildings, craziness like that. Okay, and then it's going to be epic. It's going to be grand scale. It's going to be multiple characters, fateful events, the whole works. Everybody's dying and everything like that. And then we're going to go for a fairly complex plot because it's going to be maybe not as complex. But yes, that's what we're looking for for this sci-fi, dystopian, futuristic, end of the world type stuff. Simple plot, not too complicated. You know, but enough where it's like, oh, okay, I kind of, you know, there's some some other s subplots and other things going on. And yeah, cool stuff. Okay. Now, hopefully that will do better than the other ones. And we won't get like completely 
beat up on by the people. Because people hated the stuff I made before. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Here are our choices. The Path of the Scientist. Lawson, a young scientist, lives in a future where human consciousness is artificially limited by the government. He's looking for a way to overcome his limitations. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Capitalism. Lawson is a private detective in a world where the Soviet Union won the Cold War and the United States became a communist country. How? Not sure how that would work, but okay. Like, how did... How... Mm, oh, I guess if they won and took over. Okay, I understand now. He is hired to investigate the murder of the major party official named Michael. And this one is... 2084 and 2084 the world is ruled by a totalitarian totalitarian system love outside of marriage is forbidden lawson lives in a big city and works at a factory i kind of like that one sci-fi dystopian i like the path of the scientist though he's trying to like upgrade and become cooler but i like this one no this is the world it's all dystopian blah 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 okay So that is where we're at. We're going to go with that one. We've, we're going to do it. And then hopefully we'll get some, some other things. Okay, so here is the... So we got the plot. We got the climax. Okay, the climax is... One day, Lawson meets a girl named Anya soon. They get caught by the police. Lawson is arrested. Okay, interesting. Lawson is arrested for spreading sensitive co corporate... Lawson is arrested for spreading corporate sensitive corporate information... Lawson is accused of being of being involved in an anti-government organization. Must and Lawson must betray his comrades, or he will be executed. Right? Because I said we live in the world where totalitarian system. Blah 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 blah. I mean that seems more close knit than what I was going for. I was kind of like. Yes, he's accused of being an anti-government. This is more complex. This feels like if I was going to go for the more intimate feeling of like, because it's kind of almost like a semi-love type thing going on there. At least feels like, maybe not, but that's what, that's what that was. I mean, we're going to say a deal right here. Okay, this is what we're going to go with. So he's accused of being involved in an anti-government organization. Okay. And then we're going to go and hopefully we'll get something. Okay, here we go. So we have the ending. Lawson dies from torture in prison. His death will become symbolic, symbol of resistance, inspiring others to continue fighting. Lawson refuses the deal and publicly accuses the supreme ruler of crimes against humanity. A riot for freedom breaks out. Lawson betrays his comrades. He becomes a government agent and fights the opposition. Ooh, no, that's bad. We don't want any of those things. Like, this, this, no. You're not going to betray your people. No. Um, that, this feels like 1984. This feels like that same thing, I guess, because it is 2084. So this definitely feels like the thing. This feels more action-y. I kind of like this one, though. Right? Oh, an unexpected ending. Is that... Okay, freedom. Our freedom or symbol? Symbol or freedom? Freedom or symbol? I kind of like the one where he gets imprisoned. Right, because he's an anti, he must betray his, but before he'll be executed, so he basically just, he doesn't betray him. Okay, yeah, yeah, I like it. The symbol, okay. Oh, okay, well, that's okay. That's fine, because he will just... That's how it's got to be, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that that's what it's got to be. Okay, editor. Editing. I will edit for myself. And we will be getting... Placeholder is going to get rid of... I actually think I'm just going to call it 2084. Ah, a playoff of 1984? Or how about that? We'll go 2085. All right, let's start editing and see what happens here. Edit, 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 edit. Come on. 
We gotta, we gotta do a thing. Oh, can I not? Can I not do any more? Oh, okay. I guess I cannot. Oh, wait. Who's this? Will you edit my stuff for me? Thank you. Fantasy mysticism. Okay. How many errors do I have? I saw 24 though. Shoot. I don't, I can't afford any more. Oh. Fine. Okay, whatever. We're gonna go for it. Nice. Okay, and and the reviews are in. Okay, not bad. Okay, the author did not pay attention enough attention to the plot. Good idea, poor execution. Totally forgettable. Man, fictional world feels just too fake. The plot is like an old sock. I do not agree with bad things you're saying about the book and the writer. Okay, so... So we have some people that are okay, but overall, still pretty bad. Dang! What do you guys want from me? Jeez! I don't care about the bestseller thing. Make a new book, even though I think we're gonna have to restart, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're gonna do a horror... Horror, village, werewolf, space, slavery, magic, horror and magic. Ooh, hospital, horror, hospital. That feels like a spooky hospital. All audiences, we're going to do that. We're going to, again, save the title for later. We're going to do another placeholder. Until we get past the, uh, until we get past the thing here. Okay, so. There's not really going to be anything if this is in a horror hospital. The main conflict, I mean, there's the thing. It's going to be a lot of, not so much world building. Uh, maybe it's like that. It's just really story driven, right? Because there's not really going to be world building. They're just in a, a hospital, basically. And they're going to be chased by a murderer. And some dialogue, sure, but it's mainly going to be just like your B-grade movie, you know, people just, you're just there just to see people get beaten up. Uh, Paxton, okay, Paxton is the name. Okay, so, if I want to do emotional tension, yes, deep feelings, fear, no, other way, that's what I want to do. So, definitely emotional tension. Intimacy, it's going to be a limited setting for sure. I'm like doing just the opposite of the other one, aren't I? Well, maybe I should have a little bit more action-y, high dramatics. Uh, like that, maybe? Element of risk. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe I should do this way. It's kind of more action-y. And then, yeah, we're going to go for like a more simplistic plot. Yeah, not super simple, but like enough. But it's definitely gonna be more like limited number of characters. You're just stuck in the hospital. It's like, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see what we get here. Hopefully, we can finish it before this is over. Okay, let's see. Uh, dark halls of the mind, unforeseen complications, and lamb drawing. Okay, so we have dark halls of the mind in a gloomy town in the middle of nowhere. Twenty-eight-year-old Paxton works as a psychiatric, psych or psychotherapist. Works as a psychotherapist at a local psychiatric hospital. Paxton has long noticed oddities in behaviors of patients. Research leads him to a terrifying discovery. Ooh. Psychologist Paxton works in a psychiatric hospital where an unexplained phenomenon begins to occur. Paxton, a young journalist, agrees to write an article about a closed mental, a closed hospital for mentally ill children. Ooh. Um... I think the dark halls of the mind. A terrifying discovery. What does he discover? Yes. The article would have been too, where he's like a researcher. That would have been pretty cool. Uh, here we go. Okay. Ooh, we got a couple here. All right. So, discovering the whore. Paxton discovers an abandoned hospital wing where illegal experiments and patients were conducted. He encourages... 
He encounters terrifying creatures which originated from the experiments on humans. Uh, cries of reason. Paxton begins to hear screams of deceased patients. They they lead him to a secret documents. Lead him to secret documents which reveal horrific experiments done on patients with mental illnesses. Uh, Paxton stumbles upon an old video, old videos of patient treatment, which leads him to terrifying realization of what the hospital has been hiding. Haunted by the patient's memories, he is looking for a way to reveal the truth to the world. Mirror of Madness. During the investigation, Paxton finds a mirror to which he sees terrible scenes in the hospital's past, which each new discovery his own reflection becomes more and more distorted. Ooh, I kind of like that one. There's like supernatural elements and all that. This one's too rough. This one, uh, rough, rough. These are all really hard. These are, this one's kind of like supernatural a little bit. We're going to go with that one. Let's see here. Okay, so we have Light in the Darkness. Pactus helps shut down illegal experiments, restoring justice. Blah. Losing his mind and becomes one of. Uh, Paxton loses his mind and becomes one of the patients of the hospital. His story remains unknown and the horrors continue. Hopelessness. In an attempt to stop the experiments, Paxton accidentally triggers an emergency protocol that leaves many innocent patients dead. What a twist. Uh, Paxton discovers that. All this time, his own mental illness has been causing him to see horrors that never existed. Uh, Paxton leaves the hospital with all its horrors, but the shadow of the past continues to haunt him. He starts a new life, but question, but the question of what really happened remains open. Escaping from the past, Paxton burns the hospital to the ground, trying to forget the horrors he witnessed. He disappears without a trace, leaving behind only ashes and memories. Paxton manages to find evidence of a horrific experience and hands them over to the authorities. The hospital is closed. Paxton tries to return to, a, return to a normal life, although haunted by the memories. No, the, uh, is it this one? No. What a twist. He discovers that all this time his own mental illness has been causing him to see the horrors that never existed. So he sees the mirror, thinks that stuff's going on, but it's actually just him. Oh, that's kind of cool. Because then it's, yeah, maybe. So maybe it's like a magic mirror. Oh, like a mirror that's showing him something. Okay, let's go over the whole thing and then we'll go from there. And we'll come up with a title. It says, in a gloomy town in the middle of nowhere, 28-year-old Paxton works as a psychotherapist at a local psychiatric hospital. Paxton has long noticed oddities in behavior of patients. Research leads him to discover a terrifying, or yeah, leads him a ter leads him to a terrifying discovery. During the investigation, Paxton finds a mirror in which he sees scenes from the hospital's past. With each new discovery, his own reflection becomes more and more distorted. Paxson discovers that all this time, his own mental illness has been causing him to see horrors that never existed. Okay. We're going to do that for sure. And we're going to call it... I think we're going to call it Deep Reflections. Ooh, I like this. Okay, start editing, please. Let's see what we get out of that. I don't know. That might be just, just be interesting. Can I still edit? I can. Thank you very much. Can I do another one? Oh, get all the stuff out of there. That's fine. Get all the stuff out. That's fine. Get all the errors out. Perfect. That's delightful. Okay, we have literally nothing. We're going to publish this thing. We're editing. is going to be amazing. Nice. Critics are out. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, 2.8. Lame book. Wouldn't recommend it to anyone. Jeez. Okay, the author clearly wrote a book for babies. What? Even to them, this book will seem too basic. Oh, I guess I wasn't thinking. I did six simple plot, didn't I? I flipped. I was going to do like a horror where they're being murdered, and I ended up doing something completely different. Uh, oops. The author did not pay enough attention to the setting. Uh-oh. You're probably right. Oh, man. That sucks. Okay. 
This would have made a really great comic book. Seriously. Okay, well, that's something. Didn't expect a masterpiece. I wasn't wrong. Good plot, but a math quiz is more exciting. Ouch. Oh, okay. Before we even go anywhere else with that. Okay, so... I apparently still suck at this. <laughs> but I'm better. I get it. It's making a little more sense. Okay. Oh, we might have to try another one of these at some point. I'm not sure. We might have to try this again. Because that is like... I I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing it the wrong way. But I'm, I understand what I was doing wrong with the other... With the, the sliders. But dang. I'm still doing bad. That's... That's really unfortunate. But that's okay, though, because I think this game's cool. It's silly, it's fun, it's kind of interesting, um, and we're probably going to do another one at some point. Maybe not right away, but we'll do another one just when I when I maybe play it again and figure out how to play for real. But, like I said, I'm going to leave this one here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed everything, and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya!